Hello, my name is Greg Bordea. I'm a professor from Rutgers University in the United States, here in Haifa for the International Conference on Virtual Rehabilitation. For those of you who do not know what virtual rehabilitation means, it's a new way to treat the disabled in virtual reality games. By uh, transforming therapy into a game, you realize that the patient becomes much more motivated and uh, engaged in the process of uh, therapy, which is always very good no matter what the medical problem is. In addition to that, we uh, are developing ways to do the treatment at home so that with the internet the therapist could control what the patient is doing, monitor what the patient is doing, and uh, the patient likes that because he or she doesn't have to travel to the clinic, it saves time, and it's always much more pleasant to be at home than in a hospital. Um, this new field of virtual rehabilitation has been growing for the past 20 years, and uh, now we, have, uh, we are at a point where we have formed a professional society. This is called the International Society for Virtual Rehabilitation. And unlike any other professional society, this one groups people from a wide variety of backgrounds. For example, obviously we have physical therapists and occupational therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists, as member of the society, but we also have engineers, computer scientists, uh, human factor specialists, because when you developed virtual reality therapy, you need expertise from both the technical side and the uh, clinical side. And um, we believe that this will revolutionize the way therapy is done today and tomorrow, and eventually, uh, we want to reach a point where therapy can be done anytime, anywhere in the, in the world. And uh, the best specialists, from, no matter from what country, can uh, look at the patient remotely and uh, improve the treatment and or consult with the local country specialists. So it's a, if you want, a globalization of the therapy care, but in a good way and also uh, with good positive results for the patient. Um, I can give you a few examples of how, where and how we have used this. Uh, for example, in the United States we have a um, small study where children, young adults with cerebral palsy, um, doing therapy in their home using a game console uh, were able for the first time to use their hand uh, to carry grocery bags um, to help um, in grooming themselves in dressing things that they could never do before and this was strictly done with therapy done at home uh, in uh, virtual reality using virtual reality custom games we have also used similar treatments for uh, the uh, treatment of people with stroke in the chronic phase, uh, many years after the stroke, where conventional medical care uh, does not exist, and in virtual reality we were able to improve their hand and arm movement. Uh, at Rutgers I have formed a new institute, which is called the Tele-Rehabilitation Institute, and its mission is to develop new technology to uh, help test this technology on, in clinical environments and to uh, do the education of the next generation of therapists who have to know how to use this technology. And if you want to uh, take a look at what the Institute is doing, the website is www t i dot rutgers r u t g e r s dot e d u thank you